The unknown doesn't tend to stay unknown. After all, there are quite a few very smart people out there, constantly endeavouring to document and understand our world and its mysteries. Often, they're the ones to turn to when something seems inexplicable. We rely on experts for answers, but sometimes they're as baffled as we are when strange phenomena are encountered. Whether they're objects or events, such phenomena remain puzzling until they're identified and understood, if they ever are. Before we get started, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. The Giant Crack on the Earth's Surface A drone was at the right place at the right time and got to witness a major occurrence. On August 16, 2014 in Mexico, the drone spotted a massive crack in the Earth that seemed to have formed overnight from nowhere. The Earth split. According to experts, it was like the Earth had ripped itself apart into two for one reason or another. The crack was 16 feet wide and 25 feet deep. This breakout had caused chaos on anything that came directly in its path. Farmland was destroyed as well as a link road to a Highway 26 that connects Hermosillo to the larger Mexico area. Geologists find it mind-blowing. The abruptness of the incident causes major concern. The split is clean and the deep incision very precise. Why now? What changed? The desert landscape offers no explanation nor does topography of the land. It leaves everyone guessing. Engineers speculate that a crack that deep indicates deeper activity and movement happening under the Earth's surface. This would be a real smoking gun for danger ahead. Geologists from the nearby University of Sonora suggested that the crack would have been a result of the great amounts of water that were being sucked out of the ground, making the surface crack up. This theory about groundwater being depreciated is a concern shared by many geologists. Suspicions linger that recent agricultural methods of drilling the ground for water could be contributing factors that suck water out of the ground. Yes, in the arid lay of the land, farmers do need a lot of water to irrigate crops. Farmers getting water from under would be a reason why the tabletop lowered, causing some parts of the ground to crack out. So, the questions keep coming. Was the crack as a result of groundwater removed, leaving a gaping void? NASA scientists have pointed out that this is not just a problem in Mexico. Loss of groundwater in many other places could cause countless similar cracks across the world. More so, the fact that there was a stream of water found flowing at the bottom of the crack means one thing. Removing any substantial water meant to be on the ground will cause cracks. If this phenomenon is caused by agriculture, there's no way it's going away anytime soon. For now, the crack is only getting wider and wider. Arctic Ice Holes While flying over the eastern Beaufort Sea as part of NASA's Operation Ice Bridge, mission scientist John Sontag made photos of something he had never seen before on April 14th. Odd crater-like holes in the ice. Holes that have never been seen before, unlike anything else that exists in the Arctic. While experts agree the sea ice in the photograph is thin and lightly young, since it is a grey colour, indicating there's little snow, what made the holes is a mystery. Meyer, a scientist at the National Snow and Ice Data Centre, thinks it unlikely this is the result of a fragmented meteor strike, since the holes are so close together. At first, one likely explanation was thought to be seals since they are known to gnaw through the ice for breathing holes and sometimes haul themselves onto the ice to rest. If those holes are less than 2 meters in size, then the encircling features may be due to waves of water washing out over the ice when the seals surface. Another possibility is warm water upwelling because this part of the Beaufort is quite shallow, but Dartmouth College sea ice geophysicist Don Perovich doesn't think so, because the effects would be broader, he says. He went with the seal hypothesis. My guess is a seal pushed ice out of the way to make a hole and thus also made the ice around the hole thicker. But after returning from another long day flying over the Arctic ice, Sontag said that the mysterious holes are several meters in size, perhaps even tens of meters. 
that would seem to rule out the seal hypothesis. Thus, given the size, they were more likely caused by bowhead whales punching up through the thin ice to breathe, says Sue Moore, senior scientist at the NOAA Fisheries Office of Science and Technology. Moving Island On August 1, 2012, a pilot of a passenger jet flying over the Pacific Ocean almost 500 miles away from New Zealand found something strange in the water below. Taking a closer look, the pilot was shocked. It was an island. There are around 25,000 islands in the Pacific, but that's not what made this discovery shocking. The area where he saw the island is supposed to be an open ocean. There shouldn't be anything for hundreds of miles. Investigators immediately consulted scans of the area by satellite, and their suspicions were true. Something has materialized in the middle of nowhere. Where would it come from? What actually are we looking at? Whatever this thing is, or wherever it came from, it's more than 200 miles long. When analysts compare the area of the pilot sighting with the latest satellite image, they discovered something disturbing. Whatever the object is, it appears to be moving. But islands don't move. On August 9th, a full week after the discovery of the strange site, New Zealand Navy dispatched a ship to study the strange phenomenon. When they reached there, they saw a unique sight that looks like mud or some kind of stones just floating on the surface of the water. But how? The very concept of a giant mass of rocks moving across the ocean seems to defy the laws of physics, but it's real. Some suggest that the island was formed of pumice, a type of lightweight stone-like material that's formed when underwater volcanoes eject lava into water. Is this giant anomaly a formation caused by billions and billions of pumice stones floating on the ocean's surface? Still remains a mystery. Hexagon Clouds Researchers in the US claim they've discovered the answer to the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle, covering more than half a million square miles of ocean located between Bermuda, Florida and Puerto Rico, the term Bermuda Triangle was first coined by writer Vincent H. Gaddis in 1964. The area is notorious for, legend has it, the unusually high number of planes and ships that go missing there without a trace. In a new Science Channel documentary, meteorologists claim that an unusual type of cloud located in the region could be behind a number of the disappearances. The hexagonal-shaped clouds measuring between 20 and 50 miles across can cause extremely localized high winds, which, they speculate, could be the cause of some of the previously unexplained incidents. These types of hexagonal shapes over the ocean are in essence air bombs, said Dr. Randy Savini of Arizona State University. They're formed by what are called microbursts. They're blasts of air that come down out of the bottom of the clouds and hit the ocean and they create waves that can sometimes be massive in size once they start to interact with each other. However, some experts have disputed the meteorologist's claims. NBC's Kevin Corivo said, When I look at a hexagonal cloud shape in the Bahamas, this is not the cloud signature of what a microburst looks like. You would normally have one large to extremely large thunderstorm that wouldn't have an opening in the middle. Others have pointed out that while there have indeed been a number of disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle region, they are statistically relatively insignificant given the huge number of ships and aircraft that pass through the area. The Disappearing Lake Rivers might run, but lakes stay where they are, right? Tell that to Lugarima in Northern Ireland. Sometimes it's there, and sometimes it's not. A few geologists and explorers have attempted to study it, but the deeper they search, the more complex it gets. The lake actually drains itself out to such a degree that passers-by wouldn't even be able to tell there was ever a lake in that very same spot. Where does the water disappear to? No one knows. Paul Wilson, who is a pro in analysis of aerial and ground reconnaissance images, has gone the extra mile to analyze maps from the geology surveys in search of clues. He conducted an experiment to try and follow the trail of the vanishing water. He put some dye in the Lugarima and it helped him trace the flow of the water to a dry riverbed. How the water flows from the lake to that point and back is not clear. 
Analytics started a comparative look of another similar vanishing lake to get some deeper insight. Canada's Medicine Lake is on a limestone landscape called Karst. For this vanishing lake, it's been confirmed that each year, water drains through the Karst landscape beneath it through sinkholes that dissolve over time to form a big cave. Indeed, there's limestone in the Lugarima area. It's, however, not that simple in Ireland as it is in Canada. Karst limestone typically has large caverns under the ground, but that's not the case with Lugarima. Adding more to this mystery, that amount of water that's coming out of the river is twice the amount that's actually going in to the river. This mysterious phenomenon still remains a mystery. Giant Tsunami In April 2003, NASA's flagship Terra satellite picked up a frightening image from the South China Sea. It looks like one of the largest tsunamis ever, and it's headed straight to Hong Kong, a city of 7 million people. To see a wave on a satellite, even with modern technology of satellites, means that wave had to be pretty darn big. There wasn't just one wave either, there's a whole series of them. Experts measured the main wave at the time and concluded it was more than 500 feet tall, 10 times the size of the Indian Ocean tsunami that killed at least 230,000 people. When we think of a big tsunami, we'll think like the waves will be tens of feet or big ones would be 30 or 50 feet or something like that. But do you know we have waves in the ocean that are up to 2,000 feet high? That's as big as a skyscraper. Then something extraordinary happened. The wave never hit land. The giant tsunami vanished from satellite images. Scientists were reportedly baffled when the apparent tsunami suddenly vanished into thin air, prompting a flurry of conspiracy theories as to what happened. Was this just a technical error? Modern-day satellites contain a huge number of very sensitive instruments. When we're launching into space or getting them online, a lot of things can happen. But systems on the Terra satellite are constantly being checked, and all are working fine. Wild speculation starts to spread. Could the huge waves be man-made, or a test, perhaps some kind of underwater weapon? Some claim that such a weapon has been used before to attack Japan. There are a few experts who believe that the 2011 tsunami that knocked out the Fushima nuclear power plants may have been man-made. During the Second World War, scientists from US and New Zealand conducted a series of tests in which underwater explosions were used to trigger giant tidal waves capable of destroying coastal cities. Are these waves the result of such kind of prototype weapons? And what's more puzzling is, a tsunami tends to increase in velocity until it smashes into land. Why did this one vanish? Giant Glowing Vortex on December 26, 2011, NASA's Terra satellite passes South Atlantic Ocean and captures something strange. It appears to be a giant whirlpool of glowing blue light. Scientists are perplexed after seeing this image. Even though scientists have seen ocean whirlpools before, they've not seen anything of this magnitude. Who or what is it that could be lighting up the whirlpool's deep blue? No one seems to know for certain. Nobody knows how to explain it. It looks like something out of this world. The whirlpool, or whatever it is, is located 500 miles off the coast of South Africa, and it's huge. Stretching as far as 100 miles, it's the size of an entire state in the United States. Well, that's pretty scary. But it's not just the scale that's astonishing analysts. Why is this thing, whatever it is, glowing blue? there might be a small key to unraveling this mystery. A few researchers think that the vortex has sucked up millions of microorganisms, otherwise known as phytoplankton. Phytoplankton are organisms that emit bright blue light. Everything in these ocean vortices are trapped, so they're spinning and have millions and billions of gallons of water, plankton, debris, and they're moving across oceans from continent to continent and nothing gets out. But it's just a theory. No one has seen anything quite like this before. Another hypothesis is that the massive ocean vortex could be the result of a massive earthquake on the ocean floor. To put things into perspective, let's go back in time to March 11, 2001, when a magnitude 9 earthquake took place 43 miles off the coast of Japan. 
the outcome was a catastrophic tsunami, the biggest ever recorded. Waves that were 130 feet high rocked Japan's mainland, accompanied by whirlpools along the coast and fishing boats sucked into the waves. What's baffling is these whirlpools are considered tiny in comparison to the giant blue monster captured on satellite, yet no tsunamis or earthquakes have been recorded off the coast of South Africa. This blue spiral of light transfixes you. It resembles something you would see in a sci-fi movie. Analysts have no answers and the facts don't add up. The vortex is too big to be a whirlpool, and there are no unusual weather reports in the region. The blue vortex still remains a mystery. Curse of Medusa While passing over northeastern Tanzania in 2017, NASA's Landsat 8 satellite captures a strange image of a red glowing lake. The lake color appears so unnatural. It looks like runoff from an industrial slaughterhouse or something monstrous is lurking underneath. But that's not it. According to local legend, the lake turns anything that touches it into stone, and that's the reason the lake is also known as Medusa Lake. Legend states that Medusa was once a beautiful avowed priestess of Athena, who was cursed for breaking her vow of celibacy. Anyone who locked gaze with Medusa would be turned into stone. Medusa is beheaded by the Greek hero Perseus, and her blood drips onto Africa. The deeper investigation revealed that the Medusa Lake was not always red. Previous satellite images reveal that its color is changing. Geologists are intrigued by the lake's strange chameleon waters and the legend of living things turning into stone. That's not all. Surrounding the lake, there is a pattern of stones. Researchers found that these ruins are all that's left of what was once a thriving community called Angaruka. But what made the people of Angaruka abandon the site is what baffled scientists. Does this have anything to do with the water from Medusa Lake that was used to farm by the Angaruka community? Upon further inspection of the red water, experts found abounding amounts of cyanobacteria living in the environment, and it turns out they are red. Experts believe when the population of this bacteria increases, the lake becomes more and more red. But how will they explain the animal statues? Unlike those other lakes, Lake Natron, or Medusa, is extremely alkaline. Due to high amounts of the chemical natron, a mix of sodium carbonate and baking soda in the water. The water's pH has been measured as high as 10.5, nearly as high as ammonia, and this is what causes the animals to turn into stones. That's not all. Some believe that this bizarre phenomenon has something to do with the volcano that's very close to the Natron Lake, called Oldoyinyo Lengai, Mountain of God in the Maasai language, which produces unique natrocarbonatite lava. Experts still aren't able to find out the exact reason. And that's all for today. What do you guys think? Which was your favorite out of the list? Let us know your choice in the comments and why. Before we let you go, be sure to hit the like button, share, and subscribe for more great content. Bye!